Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days and five minutes. Uh, waking up this morning, the temperatures uh, sitting around the freezing mark in many locations, even down near the coast. And in the upper 20s and low 30s inland, we've got freezing rain. Some areas just getting plain rain, but a lot of areas getting freezing rain with those temperatures below 32. And we have winter weather advisories. I just want to add that the winter weather advisories have now been also added for Nassau and Suffolk counties on Long Island. The only spot uh, in this stretch that's not in a winter weather advisory is New York City itself. And of course, you run down the coastal counties of New Jersey. Uh, advisories extend through Pennsylvania, except for South Central Pennsylvania. They are out of the advisory zone now. Winter storm warnings for Sussex and Warren counties in northwest New Jersey and for Carbon and Monroe counties in northeastern Pennsylvania. The advisories extend all the way up to the Hudson Valley uh, through Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, southern Vermont, New Hampshire, and then west across upstate New York, uh, where uh, freezing rain is occurring in uh, areas in southern parts of this area. And then up to the north, we're going to see a gradual changeover uh, to snow. And here's how it looks, by the way, nationwide, because you've got advisories that extend back out all the way across Ohio and Indiana. We've uh, seen the severe weather. Uh, there were uh, over 30 tornadoes that were reported yesterday in the central Gulf states, uh, and some of them were quite destructive. Uh, the uh, severe weather risk today is, is, uh, is not there. Uh, and we'll have some thunderstorms moving through the southeast, uh, but uh, it's not going to be like yesterday. Just wanted to uh, point that out. Now, here's a look at the temperatures this morning, and they are close to the freezing mark. And also, uh, for Long Island at least, it's at the freezing mark or just above the freezing mark, and kind of going back and forth with that. But uh, go north and west of the coast, northern New Jersey, uh, northeastern Pennsylvania, it's down in the 20s in a lot of spots. Looks like the freezing line uh, is running. Uh, probably across Long Island, uh, cutting it in half, uh, runs just north of New York City and then cuts down southwest, south of Route 78, north, just north and west of the Turnpike, and then it gets down uh, into Pennsylvania to about uh, Route 76. So that's, that's where the 32-degree line is. And as uh, we look up to the north, of course, uh, we're down in the mid-20s. In many areas in the Hudson Valley, up in Connecticut, uh, especially north of Route 15, and uh, even further north, we're seeing temperatures in the low 20s across parts of Massachusetts uh, and points northward. So that cold air that was up in upstate New York and New England uh, really kind of wedged in, and we're seeing some precip on the radar. It's snow well up to the north. If you go up toward I-90, uh, it's mostly snow there, but uh, further south. This is all either freezing rain or you get into some of the warmer air down in coastal New Jersey. It's just plain rain. And there's more precip to uh, get through. Low pressure as of 1 o'clock this morning, that's the latest map that we have, latest surface plot, uh, is sitting. One low is back through Kentucky. We have a secondary low along the Delaware coast. And we have this weak high in southern New Hampshire that's kind of wedged the cold air down. Uh, and that's created the freezing rain problems that we're seeing. Now, with respect to where we're going later today, uh, the uh, there's more precip to get through. It seems to be blotchy in nature on the radar, and we're still going to have some freezing rain issues uh, north and west of that line I drew on that other map where the 32-degree line is, and that's going to continue on and off into this afternoon until this whole system can, can just kind of get out of the way. The NAM really takes all day long to get this stuff out of here. So that's going to mean for additional icing in inland spots and additional rain in, in coastal areas, at least where uh, we've seen the temperatures go above 32. Now you get this out. Uh, snow continues through upstate New York and into New England. I don't think it's a big snow producer up there, uh, several to maybe six inches in spots. The low goes out. And then for tomorrow, we're going to see uh, a little Arctic front that's going to come on through here. And I think late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, <clears throat> we could see some snow showers and maybe even a heavier snow squall that goes by as very cold air comes in for Wednesday night and for uh, Thursday. And uh, we're going to wake up Thursday morning. Let's see if I can bring up these temperatures here. 
Uh, but we, we wake up Thursday morning, we're going to be waking up to some uh, pretty cold numbers uh, down in the teens and single digits. And there's going to be a bit of a wind Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So wind chills are going to be down below zero. So we've got some cold air that's coming in uh, behind this storm. But it, uh, the first, the colder air that's for tonight into tomorrow uh, is uh, is just a step down. We get that Arctic front to go through late tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening with some snow squalls. And uh, then we get down into the uh, teens and single digits for Thursday morning. So all this wet stuff's going to freeze up, uh, especially in inland areas. So bear that in mind once we get through this later today. So uh, we'll have our uh, app updated shortly. Website posts will be coming up uh, as we go through the day. And we'll have our regular YouTube live stream tonight at 7 o'clock. We had Joe Rayo on last night. Uh, we'll uh, see if we can get him on again tonight. So everybody have a great day. Thanks for being here on Weather in 5. And uh, we'll see you later.